Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, given the date, 1st of April, that's when I'm releasing this, I thought I'd do a bit of a fun video. What I thought I'd do is actually re a review of this. This is the Apple Pencil. Now, I know it's not a fountain pen. I know it's not something to use on a notepad. It's something you need to use on certain iPad models. I thought I'd review this as if it was a fountain pen, though. I thought, well, it could be a bit of a laugh, couldn't it? So join me now down on the mat. We'll take a walk through the body. We'll do some size comparisons, weights and measures, a writing sample. Then I'll give you my thoughts on the usability of the Apple Pencil. Welcome down to the mat. So here we've got the Apple Pencil. Just give a quick turnaround of this. You know, there's a little bit of writing on there. The rest of the pencil, just white. Only color it comes in is white. Let's take a walk through the body. So we'll start at the tip. Here we've got a plastic tip, comes to a point. The tip unscrews. So you are able, if you wanted to, to go in and change that tip. I've been fortunate, I've had this two and a half years, not needed to do that yet. We then taper out very sharply till we come to the actual body. In here, to be honest, it's mainly battery. So the body, same width all the way down. Now, as I turn this around, we can see that the bottom is flat. On that flat part, I've got my name engraved, and then we've got the Apple sign and pencil. I ordered this direct through the Apple Store and I was able to get it engraved for free. So I thought, well, why not? Then we go back around again. We're back to that curving body. The top, we've got a dome there. Very simple design. Very simple pencil. It does one thing. And to be honest, I think it does it quite nicely. Let's swap over the view and we'll do some size comparisons. Because of the nature of the pencil, doesn't have a cap or anything like that, I'm only going to do unposted size comparisons today. So, Pilot Metropolitan, Limey Safari, massive difference. Let's fetch in some pens that are in roughly the same price range. The two pens I've brought in, Twisby Draco, 215 Australian dollars. Quite a pretty looking pen though. This is a piston filler. The Apple Pencil, that was 219 Australian dollars. And then I brought in a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I've posted it because that's how I have to use the pen. That was 224 Australian dollars. 14 karat gold nib though. This one's a cartridge converter. Let's swap over. We'll do some weights and measures. Here we've got the rule of measuring. Let's fetch in the pencil. There we go. So the length of the Apple Pencil is roughly 16.6 centimetres. The width, that is 0.84 centimetres, so fairly thin. Remember, I hold my pencils quite low. You can tell that when I'm holding it. Let's swap this over and fetch in the scales of weighing. Here's the scales of weighing. Let's fetch in the Apple Pencil. So that weighs in 18 grams, so a fairly light item. We'll swap over now and we'll fetch in the notepad of testing. Here's the notepad of testing that I would normally use. Obviously, this is a plastic pen. This notepad is of absolute no use to me. So let's get it out of the way. What I need to do is fetch in my iPad Pro, which is what I use this Apple Pencil with. Now, just to show you why we've got that flat side, the pencil attaches magnetically to the top of the iPad Pro, and that's actually got some induction charging in there, so that's what's charging the pencil. Let's lay this flat. What I'm using is Apple Notes. I thought this is a nice way to show this pen off. So here we've got the iPad, 12.9 inch iPad Pro from 2020. 
let's do some writing. So we've got here an Apple Pencil. So what you'll notice, because I'm using the Apple Pencil and Apple Notes, it automatically does character recognition and turns it into essentially typewritten rather than handwritten. Now, one of the beauties of this, I'm going to change my ink size. I'm going to go from this text pen. And now what I'm going to do is go to a felt pen. And I'm going to go to a felt pen with some nice green ink. I know it's just gone all on focus. Let me move that. So you can see here, we've got the white circle inside the green. So we know that that's the green is selected. So we'll move back up. So now when I write, I'm going to say green ink. I'm getting nothing. Oh, there we go. Green ink. Wow, that's very wide. So again, come back down, click on the pencil. You can see we've got different sizes there. I'm going to change it to the, not the smallest, but the second smallest. What I'm also going to do is hit that eraser and I'm going to delete that green. So that's now all gone. We'll go back to that green pen. So let's come down and we've got when it'll start writing. There we go. Green ink. So we can do both automatic character recognition. We can also use handwriting. I'm going to write a sentence. It's not a nice experience. I'm writing with plastic on glass. It's very, very slippy. And I find that it makes a massive impact on my handwriting. Now, I've already shown you where we can get different line widths. So let me just do this again. I'm going to go back, go to the narrowest, and then I'll draw a line down and across as a plus. We'll swap to the next one. So you can see I can get different line widths. And also I can get different opacity. So I'm going to select that green one again, tap it. Here we've got this slider that lets me change the opacity. So if I tip that down to there, roughly 50%, and now do the same. So you can see I can get a difference in my ink color. So it's quite flexible like that. What are my thoughts and scores for the Apple Pencil? We'll start with pen looks. You know, it's simple. It's utilitarian, nothing exciting about it. I like that I was able to get my name engraved. A little touch makes a big difference. Pen Lux, eight out of 10. Build quality. It's the quality I expect from Apple. I've had this two and a half years, still going strong. I say still on the original nib, just works. And I must use this pen number of hours every day. I would say I actually use this pencil on here more than what I use a fountain pen. It's very heavily used. Nine out of 10. Writing experience. Very, very slippy. Plastic on glass, not a good combo. I know you can get screen covers which add texture. I've not really used them, so I can't say how much they work, if they do work, or if they're any value for money. The writing experience is actually what drove me back to fountain pens because I was sat taking notes and it was just horrible. The experience was just not nice. And one of the things I keep saying, the whole point of a pen is to let you get ideas out of your head and onto paper, or in this case, a screen, in a manner that you enjoy. I do not enjoy using the Apple Pencil on here. What I tend to use this for, yes, I use it for quick notes, you know, one of the features is I can fetch up a quick note. This is a feature of the iPad, not of the pencil, obviously, but it's handy just to make them quick notes. It's also handy if I want to be transcribing text. So, you know, again, we can do our sentence again.
it's handy for that. You know, I'm able to get that sentence and now I've got something that I can go and copy and paste in any way that I want. So it's quite useful in for that. But writing experience, six out of 10, and I'm being generous with that. Inkflow, not applicable because yes, we can get different sizes, but that's nothing to do with the flow of the ink. Comfort, very thin. Let me get rid of the keyboard. Very thin, does feel it. Anything longer than a couple of sentences, my hand starts to cramp a bit, especially up here. It's got a good length on the pen though. I say it's mainly battery, I believe. Eight out of 10 for comfort. Value for money. As I've said, I don't often use this now for writing. Yes, I do use a little bit and it's handy for drawing. So let me, you know, I'm just gonna fetch up a highlighter. I can go in and highlight stuff really easily when it works. There we go. Oh, so this is something I've never really noticed before. I can't highlight here. I've got to highlight up here in a drawing area. So you can see these little yellow lines, hopefully. They're delineate, they delineate between text and drawing. You know. So it's handy, it's easy. You know, I can erase what I don't like. Let me just hit the erase again. Don't really use it for my writing though. The other thing I do use it for is navigation. To me, it's actually more convenient than going in and using my finger to navigate. I can just go through and I can go in and look at anything I want. So value for money, eight out of 10. So that means the total score for the Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro is 7.8 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've got to be honest, I do love my Apple Pencil and I wouldn't be surprised if I use this more often than what I use fountain pens. It's just such a handy tool to use when I've got my iPad Pro out. What are your thoughts on the Apple Pencil? Is it something you've got? Is it something you use? What, how do you use it? Please drop your comments down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.